what really is the reason for ghosts like this to do this like if i'm a ghost right and i die jogging I'm not gonna go back to jogging when I'm dead. I'm gonna stay dead and just, I don't know, do ghost shit. What's good y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Thank you for checking out the video. Today is finna be a really chill, laid back video. I got some applesauce, cause I'm hungry as hell. Um. And we react in a slap tam. We react in a scary evidence that ghosts really exist. Now, I already know this shit exists. So this is just for the non-believers that don't who watch the video. Um, so yeah, I'm really hyped to see what type of evidence we got. Original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into the video. I think that's one off TikTok. I think I've seen that one actually. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some ghost sightings that are starting to freak the internet out. And don't talk but about the always, way I eat my applesauce. Before we dive into these fascinating right. stories, remember to hit that subscribe button for more scary content just like this. In 1983, Karen Collette rode the London Underground with her nephew on an afternoon outing. While on the Bakerloo line, Colette took a number of photos of her nephew sitting on the train, smiling. She thought nothing of the snaps at the time other than a cute way to remember the day. However, when she later had the photos develop, something strange was apparent in one of the pictures. Here you can see Colette's nephew holding oh, hold a on, hold camera. Hold on, hold on. I want to try to figure it out before they point it out. So okay, well, that's obviously a picture. Um, little boy holding a camera. Anything wrong with his hands? No. Dude to the left, look cool, right? Cool. I don't, I don't see shit. Y'all tell me down in the comments if y'all can figure it out, because I don't, I don't see anything. Smiling. Strangely, in the background is a stylized image of a seated man with electricity shooting out his fists. Okay, yeah, I noticed that. The train was speeding through a tunnel at the time, and there was no advertising on the rear wall of the cabin. Colette was at a loss mm. to explain the image. At the time, the photo caused quite a stir, so much so that it caught the attention of paranormal investigator Maurice Gross, who gained notoriety for his involvement in the Enfield Poltergeist case in 1977. Bro, Gross. motherfuckers that actually dealt with like real life ghosts are still here to this day, talking about how they had to deal with real life ghosts, and y'all still out here saying ghosts ain't real. Y'all is irritated carefully studied the image and found a number of bizarre details. Firstly, it was determined that it was highly unlikely that the image was manipulated. Robert Cox from the National Museum of Photography, Film and Television noted that specialized equipment would be needed to pull off such an image in the early 1980s. Gross continued to investigate the photo and discovered a match for the image of the seated man seen in the window. It was an almost exact copy of a figure on display at the time in Madame Tussauds Chamber of Horrors exhibit in London. The man is Bruno Richard Hauptmann, a German-born carpenter. In 1932, he was convicted of the abduction and murder of 20-month-old Charles Lindbergh Jr. Holy it became shit. known as the crime of the century. Yeah, that's a big ass Hauptmann crime. denied his involvement in the case at the very end when he was executed in 1936, put to death in Good. the electric chair. Good. Here's a comparison of Madame Tussauds waxwork and the reflection in the London Underground. Yo, that's... The two images were found to be identical, except for the stylized insane. bolts of electricity shooting out of his fists in the London Underground image. That's pretty insane. Theories at the time suggested Tussauds must have used the wax figure as advertising and posted the image in the London Underground. However, records indicate that the image was never used in marketing throughout its entire showing. To make this story even more mysterious, another strange incident happened to Colette sometime later. Months after the London Underground image was taken, Colette went to visit a psychic medium with a friend. While Colette's friend sat for her reading, the medium left the room and approached Colette. She said it was urgent that she talk about her photo. This is what the medium said. 
It's about your photo. I just want you to know, the man said, I'm accused of something I didn't do, but I did something else. What While the, the fuck does that mean? Optiman insisted he was innocent even in the minutes that led to his execution. So maybe he was telling the truth? This I don't know. This set of events has continued to baffle anyone who investigates the incident. In 2005, the BBC aired a program called The Ghosts on the Underground, which featured interviews with Colette, Robert Cox and Gross. But even after the BBC completed their investigation, the incident remains a complete mystery. Yeah, that's some weird shit. I wouldn't say it's like hard evidence, in December 2020, but it's weird. TikToker DM Wesley began experiencing something strange in his home. This is the one I think Over I've seen. Over a period of several weeks, he started hearing mysterious noises around the house. It got so persistent that he began trying to capture it on camera to share with the internet. After some days, he finally managed to capture the noise on camera. Take a look. This would drive me insane. Like, actually, and that this shit would piss me off too because I hate when people do, like bang on my door. Loud and aggressive it is. He's allegedly home alone, yet loud knocks can be heard at the door. Really home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. All right, bro, so unnecessary. Like, if you're gonna be an annoying ghost, at least be polite about it. Like, just just do like a regular knock. Second clip, we can see it happening again. Okay, so I'm just I'm trying to get ready for bed, and there's another one. This time, he tries knocking back. Everyone's been asking me to try and knock back. Oh yeah, that was some weird shit. Uh, yeah. In the third clip, we see the uploader awoken from a nap by the intense banging yet again. So it's literally three in the afternoon, and it's been happening more during the day, and it's just not even scary. It's just. And like you can see the it's light really underneath the door, there's no the shadows, room. like there's no one there. Unless it's like some hella good editing. I can't take this anymore. This man is being tormented. A series of videos went viral with thousands of viewers intrigued by the eerie events. Naturally, hundreds of comments poured in trying to solve the mystery. Here's the TikToker answering one of the most common questions. So I get this comment a lot, uh, so I'm just going to show you right above the door. So here's the door, here's the door frame, and right above it, there is no attic, just a smoke detector and a vent. And since I know people are going to ask, this is the closet right outside the room, no attic. Right. Some viewers suggested installing a camera outside the door to see if you can gather any footage that might explain what's going on. As it stands, this is an ongoing mystery. There's regular updates on the account, which we'll link to in the description box below. I wonder if he did what they said. Checking out. So yeah, I wonder if he did what they said by like putting the camera on the outside of the door. Me to try and knock back. Yeah, that was insane. That's some that's some crazy shit. Like he's toying with him. No one likes being woken up by strange noises around their home. YouTube user oh. Ziggy09 managed to capture this exact situation on tape making viewers double check their rooms before bedtime. In the video, we can Man, see a person I'm still going sleeping to sleep. in a dark room. I ain't checking shit. The person tosses and turns before getting up and turning on the light in the room. Watch what happens. See, but see, the only reason this happened, right, is because you're sleeping with your window open. Why do your why are your curtains open? What is the point of you're going to bed? Why do you need to have the light from outside and it needs to be dark? Go to bed. You would have never knew homie was out there. As you can see a strange figure appears in the Close window. your curtains. The curtain on the right hand side of the window inside the house moves slightly. People at the who same sleep time. like this ask for creepy shit to happen, I promise you, bro. Because what is the point? My curtain stay closed 24 7. Whatever it is, the window, here. it lingers for a few moments before disappearing. For this the exact reason. The individual returns and looks out the window for a few seconds. He then turns off the lights and gets back into bed. Without Later, closing the fucking curtains. Take a look at what happens. Oh, this man is stressing me out, dude. Hmm. 
Mm -mm. No. This time, something white appears in the window. Yeah, you that's a visible hand. That is a visible hand doing this and then knocking, bro. So Unfortunately, this clip was filmed on a moldy potato more than 10 years ago. Yeah, so we're clearly. not able to get a clear view of what it is that's lurking outside the window. It looked like a human. So just what is tapping at the window and waking this person up? Perhaps we'll never know. We won't. Honestly, I don't think this one's very real. This one could most definitely be like staged. That looks like a human hand. But then again, like he said, we'll never really know. TikToker Megs Loves Ya seems to have caught something eerie on their home security system. In the first of a series of videos, we see footage shot from the security camera of the TikToker's front door. Take a look. Oh yeah, y'all see that? I see that. He appeared out of nowhere. And then we can see too. what looks to be a transparent figure jogging along the road in the early morning hours. In the second oh, clip like... uploaded by the TikToker, she's zoomed in on the original footage. Here we can see that the figure's body does indeed seem transparent, though the figure's face looks more solid. Yeah. In the last oh, clip, yeah, the TikToker shares the footage of her daughter running outside of her home to prove that she shows up solid on film. Yeah. Okay, see so they're trying the to prove that this isn't a hoax, I like it. Solid form. After this, in the same clip, we can see footage of a car driving by the home, proving that objects show up clearly on the camera as well. Okay. There were tons of suggestions from other TikTok users on what this could be. Some believe that the ghostly figure looked the way they did due to dark clothing, or perhaps they were wearing reflective exercise wear. Okay. Others, though, thought that this was actually a ghost. They suggested it could be the spirit of a jogger who died on this very stretch of road. See, Although when people no come up with stories like that, this, it's just like, I don't know. But then again, it's like, what really is the reason for ghosts like this to do this? Like, if I'm a ghost, right, and I die jogging, I'm not going to go back to jogging when I'm dead. I'm going to stay dead and just, I don't know, do ghost shit. But it's just like, what is the story for, like, ghosts that do just jog or climb or you know shit like that i mean i guess like it was something they love to do so they just went back to doing it and then i don't know shit's always just been a question to me ghost stalkers paranormal investigations are a group of supernatural researchers operating out of north carolina they regularly travel to some of the most haunted places in the United States in the hopes of capturing evidence of otherworldly happenings. However, this next clip happened a little closer to home when they captured something strange in the back of a video of their son dancing. Take a look. Okay. While it's a little it's hard crazy. to make out at first, something appears to zip past the dancing child. You talking about that little black shit that I just seen like two seconds ago or am I tripping? Oh wait, no, I see it. What the fuck? That's really hard to see unless you do a frame by frame. The YouTuber believes that their house is active with spirits. They claim that a number of young children haunt their home. One in particular is a notorious entity they've dubbed Anna. The YouTuber believes that this is proof that Anna's spirit is lingering in the home. Could it be that their young son has befriended ghostly Anna? Or is there another mm. way to explain this strange sighting? Love to hear your theories in the comment section down below. I don't really have a theory on it, so I kind of just got to believe them. Because I don't know what the fuck that could be. Because I, 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 I obviously see it with my own eyes. Please, Dylan keeps me in the basement and forces me to do these voiceovers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never noticed that. Do they do that every time? Because I usually skip Some over that. Some believe that loved ones who have passed away will visit from time to time. It's yeah. a comforting thought, though it's very rare to have actual proof of this happening. We've most definitely Reddit had user some of our own 78 may have been able to experience just this situation and shared a photo as proof. In the photo, we see three people posing together I've in a bar in the setting. In the background, directly above the woman in the middle, is what appears to be a blurry, slightly transparent figure. Figure. The figure resembles a woman smiling at the camera. 
while she's ready to take a Next picture. Next to her on the left is a very bright orange light. Okay. The Redditor who posted this picture insisted that there was no one behind the group when the photo was taken. Hold, these motherfuckers gotta be drunk too. Cause what type of focus is that? What were they gonna do with that picture? I really hope that that was an accidental picture and that wasn't the only one they took. As he and his friends were the last people in the bar Shit is blurry night. as fuck. <laughs> Moreover, he claims that the orange light was not a bar light and that it seemed to have appeared with the woman. He hmm. believes that the woman is the ghost of his mother who passed oh, away. Wow. Most other Redditors seem not to believe the photo, guessing that someone could have easily popped up in the background as a kind of photo bomb. They blame the woman's transparency and the bright light as the result of a shaky hand taking mm -hmm. the picture. Could be. Still, there are a small group of Redditors who thought the original poster should have the right to believe that this is his mum. If it brings him comfort, it may just be best to let this Redditor have this moment. That is also true. Because how are you going to tell him? He was there. This one was cool. This one has some hella fire ones. Slap him most definitely has not missed for like the videos I have watched by him. I think I've reacted to his video, like three of them already. So if y'all haven't seen the other two, go check them out. But I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Let me know down in the comments which one y'all found the creepiest, which ones y'all thought were real or fake. And let's, let's talk about it. But I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next one. I love y'all. Peace. I may finesse the bitch if I'm able uh, Run up, you catch a clip, get disabled uh, I never kill my brother, I ain't able to cane